Besides, there's no way I'd ask Miss Sonya to take on such dangerous role, you know. So please, I'm begging you. Hey, hey! What a rude way to ask for help if Mahiru was here. She would have beaten you up. You. I mean, you did say earlier that you definitely can't accept killing. <laughs> Isn't that right? I need your help to stop under her killing. Hey! And didn't I just say I'm begging you? Why are you snapping at her all of a sudden? Oh. Fine. All right. You're gonna do it? Alright, then this lineup is perfect. Hey, Sonia and I haven't been given roles. What should we do? <laughs> Sonia has the role of princess. That doesn't make any sense. For now. And you're on tour duty. I want you to supply the rope we need to tie up for Nagito. Bow down. Denied. Whoa. Why? Listen. If Hajime has nothing to do anyway, he shall accompany me. Miss Sonia? No, like I said, he needs to supply the rope. You must not. This is not a request, this is an order. That is an order. I tell you, there is somewhere I must go. Uh. Fine, if Hajime and Miss Sonia are free, it's fine. I leave that matter to your discretion. Good, repeat that. Damn it! <laughs> to object so forcefully, where do you need to go, Sonia? I shall tell you in due time, we will be discovered if I speak too loudly. What did you say? You're gonna be alone with Hajime? At a secret place? For now. Damn it! We'll carry out the plan tonight, all of you. Make sure you prepare your bodies and mind. Huh? Is our commander going to be okay? His energy seems to have dropped pretty drastically. Let's all disperse for now. <laughs> now then, please come to the hotel lobby in 30 minutes. Yeah, sure thing. I wonder what Miss Sonia is planning. After our planning meeting had ended, I quickly finished eating my breakfast. By the time I made it back to the cottage, it was already close to the time I agreed to meet Miss Sonia. Why do I keep uh telling Miss Sonia? <laughs> oh man. Kazuichi has now rubbed up on me. Now I'll go directly to Sonia. Okay, wrong button. Um. Hajime, you are late. Huh? I'm right on time. Wait, should I have come a little earlier? A little earlier. In my country, you are severely punished if you do not arrive 13 minutes before an arranged meeting time. For such an orderly country, 13 minutes is a pretty arbitrary rule. That is. Oh, I see. This is culture shock, then I guess that can't be overlooked. So, where are you planning to go? I just have to come along, right? Well? Of course, it is a place that pertains to this. Discovery we made yesterday. Jabberwock Island Development Plan. Did you find out something about it? Um. How should I say this? After reading this document over and over again, I suddenly realized the Future Foundation was planning to rebuild a facility on this island to use as their headquarters. We're talking about the large administrative building on the central island, right? But I couldn't find a building like that anywhere. Maybe they said something about a different island. Do you have a minute? Or what if their plans suddenly changed and they had to use a different facility? A different facility? Well? Was there not a facility on this island inscribed with a symbol of future foundation? Ah, the vault. Um. As I recall, the ancient ruin on the island had a, such a symbol on its door. Yeah, you're right. The Japanese word for future Mirai was inscribed there. If that's the case, that ruin might be connected to the future foundation, right? However, this discrepancies in the document, the document are strange, but there is no doubt that the ruin is quite suspicious. You're right. I'd completely forgotten about it after being locked inside a funhouse, but the possibility that the ancient ruin is connected to the future foundation 
is incredibly high. I knew there was something strange about that place. Sonia, after hearing all this, I want to go there as much as you do. I'll definitely come with you. <laughs> then, I may not be competent, so please be patient with me. I see, I see. The word Mirai or future was inscribed in the door. The discrepancies in the document are strange, but there is no doubt the ruin is quite suspicious. I see. Okay, we'll go to the second island. Jackie. Out of all the five remaining uh, survivors here, I want the girls girls to be alive. I kind of like them rather than the guys. Well, Nagito can go. Kazuichi can also go too. <laughs> Okay, second island. Second would be this one, alright. Oh man, I think it's hatching now. Okay, it's another Chibimi. Oh, come on, please let this be the second island. I don't want to go back. Oh, nice. here it's been a while since we've been here man since uh, the second case no matter how many times I see this place it certainly giving gives me the willies However, well we should not dwell on that after all we are here to look for clues that's right there's no doubt we'll find something here all right let's start Now that I'm taking a closer look at it, the door looks even stranger. For a building that looks pretty run down and shabby, this door looks very high tech. Future, huh? This liquid crystal display next to the door. Oh, that's probably it. This is probably the key. key. This door will probably open if we input the correct numbers. We have discussed this before as well, but it would be dangerous to test it hap haphazardly. Well? If we make a mistake, it is possible that we will be fired upon by that gun. I can think of no other reason for that gun to be there. As long as that's a possibility, it'd be bad if we acted recklessly. I am concerned. That is right, courage and recklessness are completely different. If you were shot by a gun like that, you would have been more holes in than in you than a Beatrice nest. You mean a bee's nest. <laughs> in my country we use the expression Beatrice nests. Anyway, right now we definitely shouldn't test it out so recklessly. I see. I see. In order to open this door, we must find the password first. Or destroy the door with some kind of explosive force. Nah, that's impossible. This door looks extremely sturdy. It's definitely better if we find out the password instead. Alright, we'll have to do next is find out what the password is. It's a good thing we came here so we could at least find that out. You are right. But the problem is, where would we obtain that password? When we first came here, even Monokoma and Monomi said they didn't know the password. If they really don't know it, how are we supposed to find out? As usual, it's a mystery, huh? 
After finishing our investigation of the ancient ruin, Sonia and I decided to go back to our cottages for now. It's still the middle of the day. Looks like I have some free time. Now then, what shall I do? Oh, holy shit, we have free time. Damn, I didn't know we have... Still have those free time, considering we only have five survivors left. Okay, I'll find Sonya now, because I think she's the only one that needs to be completing here. Yeah, Sonya is o only one crystal left in order to complete. Now, where is she? Ah, there. Seeking Industries. Uh, seeking would be here. We'll spend some time with her. I wonder where we might find that password to enter the ancient ruin. What should I do? Should I invite? Yups. I am concerned. Let us take a small break. I took a break with Sonia. Uh, now this is tricky. What do I give her? Silver ring. Black rabbit. Washing. What? Is this a washing machine? Gag ball. Ah. Maybe I'll just give it, give her this one. I don't know. Amazing. Oh, nice. She liked it. <laughs> I am truly happy. <laughs> now then, shall we discuss? What shall we discuss today? Um. You know. Do you have a minute? If it pleases you, would you like to come to my room? Whoa, holy shite. Boy, do I. I want to go. I'm certain we will feel more relaxed there than being outside. Right. I feel like Sonya is trying a little too hard today. Maybe something happened. For now, I decided to walk to Sonya's cottage. I am sorry. I have not kept this place very clean. Ooh, I kind of like her place. It seems clean enough to me. Really? I do not have much experience taking care of myself, so there are still things I do not understand. Um. Thus far, I have managed to understand how to turn on the shower. But I did not know I also had to turn it off, so I accidentally flooded the floor. I guess that sounds like something a princess would do. So, what happened? Huh? Oh, what? Well, something happened, right? You're acting a little different than usual, so how could you tell? Um, I'm not sure. I could just tell by looking at you. I am concerned. If you can tell, then I guess I cannot hide things from you. She looked a little relieved when she said that, and she gave me a relaxed smile. It seems she understands what she doesn't need to try so hard. Um. I had a nightmare. Nightmare? 
A nightmare where something dreadful had happened and I was unable to return to my homeland. And when I woke up, I felt extremely scared and I want to go home right now. I want to go home to my homeland where my family and people are waiting for me. As she shouted, Sonia collapsed and... Whoa, Sonia! I managed to catch her before she hit the ground. She was crying, sobbing, and scared out of her wits like a normal girl. Right now, she's finally acting normal. She's been holding in it for so damn long. I held her and patiently waited for her to stop trembling. Are you alright now? Yes, um... I feel much better thanks to you. My energy seems to have returned somewhat. Though her eyes were still a little red, Sonia finally showed me her smile. I... Hajime, I finally realized what you are. You completely match the description of the legendary hero passed down in my country. <laughs> a hero? Say what? Um, the legend goes like this. The hero wears a white shirt and possesses an antenna that can sense danger. With a face lacking distinguished characteristics, he shall bring light to the tropical land. Are you serious? Well? There is no mistake this legend must be speaking of you, Hajime. You wear a white shirt just like the legend says, and your hair looks like an antenna, and your face is completely unremarkable. <laughs> Man, I don't know if that's a compliment or if she's mocking us. Please stop it already. Please listen. According to the legend, the hero will stand alongside the princess and fr freely swing the golden mac macango. A macango is an animal, right? Is it really okay to swing around a living creature? Amazing. And then the legend says they will establish something resembling order and prosperity to the kingdom. Wait, not actual order or prosperity? Just a resemblance? <laughs> After all this time, Hajime. So, so you were, you were my, destined my destined one. Whoa. Uh, that's totally not it. See? Hajime, when we safely escape this island, please come with me to the Novicella Kingdom. Easy as pie. And then, when the time comes, let us capture the Golden Makingo. <laughs> if you do, you will be formally acknowledged as the legendary hero and you will be able to rule Novacella Kingdom alongside me. Does that mean... But a life like that doesn't sound so bad? Yeah. Frick, man. If I were him, I would go. I'd be a king, and, she's be, and she'll be my queen. No, actually, it sounds awesome. All right. However, you might need to study a bit before you can become my husband and the king of Novacella. You will need to know 30 foreign languages, economics, international law, diagnostic medicine. Frick, I can't do that, man. How am I supposed to do all that? I'll be an old man before I'm finished. Hmm, let us do our very best. Well, anyway, I'm glad Sonia feels better now. I'm sure everyone else won't feel like their usual selves if they don't see Sonia smile. I can feel a strong bond with Sonia. And as long as I have this bond, I will never give up. I swear I'll leave this island with everyone. Nice. Level up. You just unlocked the skill. Envious. Influence. What's that? Sonia's undergarments. Holy shit. Okay. Okay, I have some free time. Okay, I'm just gonna check on that undergarment, folks. <laughs> Holy shit, I just got her. Okay. Sonia's favorite reg regal undergarments, the modest lace, conveys an air of refined sophistication. Okay, let's check our pet. Uh, report card. She's already full here. Greatly influences... Uh, greatly increases influence gauge. 
effective during class trial, cannot be combined with attentive influence. Okay, we can have uh, Chiaki or Akane. I think I'll go with Akane now. Uh, Akane is supposed to be... Okay, she's, uh, she's at her place. It's kind of cool. Uh, we'll save here. Before we head out to her. Ping pong. Hmm, who is it? Wait, how? Holy shit. What the heck is... Just look at her place. Oh. This Minimaru doll is amazing. It's not just cute, it's got a lot of other awesome functions too. You wanna check it out, right? Yeah, yeah, we'll hang out with her. Wait. Mi Minimaru is mine, alright? I won't let you have it no matter how bad you want it. I spent time today with Akane as she played with Minimaru. Okay, what will we give her? Well, she likes food, so it's pretty obvious. Is there any food here? Hmm. I don't think we have any more. Uh, what do we give her? Or maybe this one. I'll try. Oh yeah, nice. I'll have I'll be good to go for ten days. I'm Man, I'm starving. Hey, let's go find some food, um, <laughs> Hector, Hector, <laughs> I'm not Hector, I want to believe she's just playing with me and doing this on purpose. Hey Hajime, I found a place that might have a lot of awesome things, come on, let's go. Akane grabbed me by the arm and dragged me to the storage room inside the old building. Yeah. Monomi let you in if you just ask her, she sure is a pushover. I found out that there's a canned food here. Isn't that awesome? Since there's no one here, you can s I mean borrow as much as you want. <laughs> she was going to say say steal. It's a canned food party. Akane's eyes lit up from being surrounded by food. She sort of looked like a little kid. When she looks less happy, it's hard for me to want me to stop her. Haha, <laughs> score. When things don't make sense, the only thing I can do is stuff my face. As long as I can eat and move my body, that's when I feel like I'm alive. That's all I need. That's very Akane, I think. But is that really okay? For people, things are never that simple. She might have something on her mind. She sounds like she's trying to convince herself. Maybe what she really means is... Are you worried about something? Huh? huh? What are you talking about? I don't really worry about things. You? There's no way I'd ever worry about anything. Really? Everybody has things they worry about. People feel hesitant or uneasy and sometimes you just need to vent about it. You. That's wrong. I'm not that weak. Whoa. Akane swung her arm and hit the light switch. It's only dim, but I should still be careful. Bam. Ow, I've already walked into a shelf. What's that white thing? Whoa, huh? I somehow managed to turn the light on, and I saw Akane crouch to the ground, trembling next to a white sheet. It probably fell from the shelf when I walked into it. Good, good ghost It's not a ghost, it's just a sheet. 
Liar. I'm not lying. See, look at your face. Look at feet. Damn, I can't read. Right? D damn it! Forget about what you just saw now. Huh? If you tell anyone, I'll kill you. If you... If I even catch you thinking about it, I'll kill you. I'll get you for this. I don't know if I should remember this or forget about it, but I never thought I'd seen Akane make a face like that. Okay, I think that's it. For some reason, my heart was still racing, so I left the area. Okay, that's it for the free time. It's evening now. It's starting to get dark. Ding dong. The doorbell. Someone here? Instinctively, my entire body tensed up. I knew it was probably someone like Sonia or maybe Kazuichi, but regardless, I was nervous. Not that I can help it, I mean, so much has happened since we arrived at this island. While mumbling to myself, I quietly opened my cottage door. Hello there. It's Hajime. Hello there, Najime. Nagito? Why? Why is he here? Why are you here? You, what are you doing here? You sure ask weird questions. That's not it. I mean, you guys all have business with me, right? Huh? Well... Chiaki invited me to the lobby. She said she had something she wanted to talk to me about. Everyone put her up to that, right? She's already found out about her plan. <laughs> Looks like that's a bingo, huh? <laughs> but it's a good timing. I have some business with you guys too. You do? If everyone was already at the lobby, that saves me a lot of trouble. Hey. And I want you to come to the lobby too, even though you're not directly involved with the plan. You even know that? I see. Just as I thought, you were left out, huh? But that's understandable. Right? Since you're the only one who isn't an ultimate, you're basically been left out from the start. Now, now. I'm only joking. Don't make such a scary face. Your, your joke isn't funny. Someone you shouldn't take me so seriously. See? Oh well, anyway, let's hurry up to the, to the lobby. I don't know the details of your plan, so I'm actually looking forward to it. I wonder what you guys are going to do to me. <laughs> when we first arrived at this island, we were friends, so we explored this place together, so let's go all, already. Fine, let's go. Yep. I don't know what he's thinking, but as long as we capture him, we'll have the advantage. I won't let him do as he pleases anymore. Yeah, let's go, Nagito. You're gonna be tied up. If Chiaki has summoned Nagito, then the plan has already started. Fuyuhiko and Akane should be waiting inside for Nagito. Jeez. What happened, Najime? What are you so nervous about? I'm not nervous. You're a terrible actor. Oh well, if you're going to slow down like that, I'll go inside first. As I hesitated in front of the door, Nagito walked past me and entered the hotel lobby. And that's when it happened. All right, I got him. Um, what are what you are doing? doing? <laughs> Don't judge us for this, but we're gonna tie you up. <laughs> tie me up. There's no use struggling! But I'm not struggling. Huh? What, what the hell? You're being strangely cooperative. Who cares? Just tie him up before it's too late. You guys are really disappointing. How long are you going to continue behaving so short-sightedly? You gotta look at the big picture, you know? Huh? What are you talking about? It's fine if you don't understand. You can just see the end without knowing. Now then, let's begin! The beginning of the end of Jabberwock Island! And that's when it happened. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw a bright light. Whoa! Holy shit, the air shook! An explosion of darkness overtook me, and I was unable to see anything. I probably lost consciousness. Shortly after the impact, I managed to open my eyes slightly. Holy fuck! Frick, the lobby just got freaking blown to bits. What's going on? Are the words that I left my mouth, but they vanished before they ever reached my ears. They were drowned out by the sound of terrifying laughter. I look up and saw the source of that laughter. Nagito. <laughs> oh 
Holy shit, what the frick happened to him? 